I know that you're enjoying your conversations about our honored guest, and now we need to have some more of those conversations. Um, as we turn our attention to the reason that we're gathered to honor Dr. Wright Lassiter in his coming retirement, this is an event based on gratitude. And on gratitude, then, I hope you'll join me in breaking the ice just a little bit by acknowledging some of our best student jazz musicians and their faculty members that you just heard. That was Dr. Oscar Pasley and uh, his group from Eastville College. And then also to uh, take that gratitude just a little bit further and thank the staff of Vice Chancellor Justin Lonan uh, for the event here in this beautiful venue and especially Kathy Cook and Tammy Cooper who have spent a great deal of time putting this auspicious occasion together and again. Maybe I should tell you who I am. Um, my name is Susan Hall, and I'm the Executive Director of Board Relations, and I'm a late addition as the MC for this event tonight um, because Justin Lonnan is out parking cars. Uh, well, no, he's, he likes to drive from the back of the boat. So he's going to organize to be sure that we get all of those people who want to speak so kindly about Dr. Lasseter tonight. I'm a late addition as an MC, but I'm not a latecomer to the Dallas County Community College District and I'm happy to say that I was here 28 years ago when the district then hired the Chancellor um, Wright Lasseter and I've known him and worked with him and for him ever since. So I speak firsthand as we continue tonight. As we honor a man unequaled in his ability to collaborate, communicate, and coach. And through his work, he's touched the lives of more students than can surely be counted here tonight. It's probably obvious just by virtue of those who are here in the room that his impact goes very much deeper, uh, demonstrated by any number of civic leaders, elected officials, business leaders, and educators, DCCCD employees, friends, and family in attendance here this evening. And you're going to get a chance to hear from some of those people shortly. It would take all night if we individually recognized all of our friends. Um, but we do want to say uh, a special thank you to those VIPs and our elected officials uh, with us tonight. So I know some of you don't have seats. Uh, if you're seated and an elected official, please stand and be recognized. And if you're at the edges of the room, you can wave or dance or sing so that we know you're here. We thank you all for your attendance this evening. Our most important VIPs, however, have to be the Lassiter family. Uh, please help me as we welcome Dr. Lassiter's sweet wife, Mrs. Betsy Lassiter. And they're joined with their son tonight, Wright Lassiter III, and their daughter, Michelle Yule, and other family members as well. We're so glad you're here. <clears throat> Throughout his tenure with the DCCD, Dr. Lassiter has regularly made reference to the district as his extended family. And there are a lot of those folks in the room to, to visit with us tonight as well. Please join me in recognizing just a couple of those individuals. I believe that Hunter Hunt is here as chairman of the DCCD Foundation. Would you stand or wave? <laughs> the light is in my eyes. Applause, please.
And then our elected members of the DCCD Board of Trustees this evening, Chair Jerry Prater, Trustee Charlotta Compton, Trustee Wesley Jamison. Um, we possibly have more Trustee Williams, if you're in the room. Would you all stand and be recognized as well? With Dr. Lassiter's length of service, it is only appropriate that we also uh, have a number of board members who've gone on to other things since they served with us, and among them are uh, previous trustees, Kitty Boyle. I know that Jeff Benford is in the room with us tonight. Possibly Jerry Gilmore and Steve Salazar. In order to pay tribute to a person with Dr. Lassiter's legacy, many words come to mind. Could you describe this man in just three words? Maybe you know us um, in the education field as being maybe a little bit wordy. Um, so there were a group of people uh, recently tasked with describing Dr. Laster in just those three words. People that see him on a regular basis and maybe you'll even see some people you recognize as well. We thought you'd all enjoy those three word descriptions used to describe Dr. Lasseter. So please join us for this video. The three words are man of God, inspirational, humorous, and spiritual. Visionary, debonair, Committed. Outstanding, nourishing, excellent. Believes in others. My favorite storyteller. Wise, insightful, patient. Humble, storyteller, passionate. Legend, servant, and mentor. Caring, supportive, and wise. Leader, motivator, Facilitator. Honest, caring, and knowledgeable. Intelligent, pastoral, and loving. He's a humanitarian, a communicator deluxe, and a gentle giant among men. Made a difference. Energetic, devoted, and a great Christian man. Dependable, strong leader. Faithful dedicated servant leader. Integrity, fairness, honesty. Been my inspiration. Humble servant leader. Wise, whimsical warrior. Distinguished, committed, and a sense of humor. You're wise, balanced, and accomplished. All round good guy. Leader, wise, and inspirational. Leader who listens. God's humble follower. Master of prose, inspirational and wise. Dynamic servant leadership. He's a happy guy. He is dedicated uh, to his job. He really lets people do their work. So I don't know how many words that is, but that's the way I feel about right. Dedicated, articulate, and passionate. Gracious, wise, and leader. Leadership, servant, respectful. Encourager, counselor, and leader. Wise, humble, servant leader. Successful, prolific scholar. Caring, experienced, and very, very tall. Kind, generous, and thought-provoking. Dedicated, scholarly and kind. Hab viel Spaß. Scholar, author, orator. Tall, humble, and generous. Scholarly, 
stylish, and a sage. He smooths troubled waters. Mentor, student, contemplative. Wise, kind, and very tall. Compassionate, caring storyteller. Modest, influential leader. Statesman, servant leader, mentor. Inteligente, guapo, y fiel. Caring, commitment, and integrity. With compassion, dedication, and kindness. Integrity, sharp dressed, leadership. Servant leader, shepherd, and wise. Friend, colleague, and uh, mentor. Passion, God, and integrity. The largest room in any house is the room for improvement. Wishing you well, Dr. Lasseter. Enjoy your life. So now you know he's tall. I don't know. <laughs> when Dr. Lasseter announced his retirement, accolades started pouring in. At first, he kind of stacked them in the corner, saying he'd take care of those later. Now I think he's beginning to enjoy saying, thank you. This is the last time I'm going to do this. He just fills in the blank, and then you hear that little chuckle in the background. I really think he's beginning to get there. Dr. Lassiter, you might as well come up to the chair and hear just a few more important things that we want to tell you tonight. And now, remember I told you that Justin Lennon's really in charge, and he continues to say things to me like, the following speakers are going to make brief remarks, Susan. So we're going to have a few brief remarks from some people who have some thanks to be said to Dr. Lasseter, and we're going to begin with a special presentation from the city of Dallas. And tonight, that uh, city is represented by Adam McGaw, who comes to us from Mayor Rawlings' office as Chief of Staff. Dr. Lasseter, let me first say thank you. Thank you for all the effort you put each and every time you appear before your faculty, the students, and everybody that you led in so many ways. Not only do I have the honor of being here to represent the entire Dallas City Council and Mayor Mike Rawlings, but I'm also here as a faculty member of El Centro College, who's been led by Dr. Lasseter for my entire teaching career. And I thank you for your leadership and the mentor you've been for all of us. So it is with my humble honor I get to recognize Dr. Wright Lasseter, a longtime educator and administrator who's built a career in higher education that includes service and business teaching, leading, and mentoring in many capacities. Dr. Laster has had an illustrious career as a Dallas County Community College District seven, seven college system, which is among the largest in Texas. Ben became the president of El Centro College in 1987 and served as chancellor of DCC, CCCD since 1995. Whereas, because of his support and endless work, the district has honored him with the naming of the El Centro College right L. Laster Jr. Student Center and the Wright L. Laster Jr. Chapter of the National Honor Society to acknowledge his legacy and contributions to both the college and most importantly, its students. And whereas Dr. Laster has been instrumental in improving the lives of countless students, higher education faculty and staff and community members by following his most spoken philosophy, as we've heard tonight, the largest room in the house is the room for improvement. 
And whereas it is my humble honor to recognize Dr. Laster's service and his contributions to our city's educational system. And on behalf of Mayor Mike Rollins, the entire Dallas City Council, on this 27th day of January 2014, we hereby extend special recognition to Dr. Wright L. Laster, Jr. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. So nice to have a faculty member rec represented as well. So tonight, then, we also have our state representative, Roberto Alonso, and our state senator, Royce West, to join us as well. Good evening, it's a pleasure uh, to be here and uh, do this special occasion. And uh, as we begin, uh, I begin my comments, I, I, I think it's fitting that we recognize our leaders of uh, Dallas. And this week is especially important because we lost one of our big leaders in Adelfa Callejo. So I ask just a moment of silence just to, as we celebrate the special occasion, we continue to celebrate the greatness of Dallas. <clears throat> Dr. Lasseter, it's a pleasure to be here. Uh, in celebrating uh, you, we celebrate Dallas, we celebrate higher education. And all of us are especially thankful for your leadership in higher ed, especially in the community college level. And somehow or another, we're all connected, and it's great to see all the people that said thank you. Because in a way, uh, we're all saying thank you to all of you for what you have done for all of us. Uh, I used to live right by Mountain View College. In fact, I can tell you, my wife went to Mountain View College, my son went to Mountain View College, my daughter went to Mountain View College, my son went to Mountain View The only one that didn't go to Mountain View College was myself. But it is important to have uh, the community college because it contributes so big and so much. And so it's my pleasure to be a part of you being on the Higher Education Committee in, in uh, Austin. And with that, in my brief remarks, on behalf of the Texas House of Representatives, I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you in two of the paragraphs that I have here. And whereas an exemplary educator and administrator, Dr. Lasseter took the helm of the CCCD, one of the largest community college systems in Texas in May 2006, after leading El Centro College for 20 years. During his tenure as chancellor, he has overseen dramatic improvements within the district. One of his proudest achievements being the completion of a 450 million capital improvement bond program, which was brought to a conclusion of time under budget. His further contributions include the appointment of four college presidents, other senior staff, the mentoring of administrators, the expansion of the early college high school program, and one of them, of course, in my district, which is great, and the development of plans to help the district to thrive in the face of severe budget pressures and measure and probe enrollment increases. Whereas over the past eight years, Dr. Lasseter has steered the DCCD with great vision, navigating both calm and turbulent seas and he is widely admired for his achievement as chancellor. He has directed the district at a time of considerable expansion and growth, and he has done so with cons consummate skill. Now, therefore, be it rehab, now, therefore, be it resolved, that Chancellor Lasseter Jr., Chancellor Wright Lasseter Jr., be commended for his outstanding service to the Dallas Community College District, and that he be extended sincere best wishing in all his future endeavors on behalf of the Texas House of Representatives. On behalf of myself, with this resolution, sir, and another resolution that was put together by my colleague, uh, Yvonne Davis. This is on behalf of 150 state reps. Congratulations and thank you very much.
Good evening. Good evening. I'm going to ask everyone in this room who's been touched, impacted by Dr. Wright Lassiter to stand up and let's give this good man a standing ovation. It's indeed an honor to be here wearing two hats, as a state senator and a member of Sigma Pi Phi Boule. So I'm going to ask the members of Sigma Pi Phi to stand up also. You know, I'd like to get into all of the whereas. Uh, suffice it to say, when uh, uh, the video was going, uh, three words to describe Wright Lasseter, a good man. I think that sums up everything everyone was saying about Dr. Lasseter. Uh, when, you, when I think about what he's meant to me over the years that I've been a state senator, uh, I've had the honor to serve on the education committee, the Higher Education Committee, Finance Committee, uh, over, the, over my tenure. And I can still hear Dr. Lassiter saying, Irma, um, uh, Senator West, we need to fund those contact hours, okay? And see, some of that went over, that went over many of y'all's head, you know, those in higher education understand that. And needless to say, he was a person that I oftentimes went to in order to get advice in terms of what direction I should go in. Dr. Lassiter, I thank you for that. And as a result of being able to do that, the reality is, is that I think that we've made the community colleges, not only here in Dallas, but around the state of Texas, a better place in order to educate young people in the state of Texas. And we've also made the other institutions of higher education just as uh, good. Um, I'm not gonna go th through all of the whereas. Suffice it to say, that the Senate of the state of Texas this evening has authorized me to bring a proclamation. I just have a copy of it because the Senate was closed. Austin had some bad weather. And so the official proclamation will be coming from the state of Texas of the Senate uh, shortly. But suffice it to say that we applaud you and all of the things that you've done on behalf of the state of Texas. We know that you work for meager dollars and that this next chapter of your life should be one where you volunteer. I mean, <laughs> Dr. Lassiter, you are a good man. And all of us recognize that. So on behalf of the state of Texas, behalf of the Senate of the state of Texas, congratulations. Dr. Lassiter has taught us all not to pass up a good opportunity, and I figure before the Representative Alonzo gets to the back door, we could have him registered, um, and he could graduate from one of the colleges, too. <laughs> so y'all don't all trip him on the way out. Next up, we'd like to invite our board chair, Jerry Prater, to uh, bring some remarks, and he has a one-of-a-kind presentation fitting for this venue here in the Great Hall of State. Thank you. Right, um, we, uh, we worked together. We worked together since the day you became chancellor. In fact, the day you became interim chancellor. Um, there have been 
many accolades, not as many as you deserve, but um, rather than repeat some of those, I'm, I'm going to make a couple of comments that I know that you would want me to make. If you haven't had your flu or pneumonia shots, <laughs> tomorrow might be a really good time to think about that. This evening presents a uh, very easy task to preside, to present uh, a recognition for a leader among us. I, one who stands tall, but, and I apologize uh, because it screws up the punchline if I'm not repetitive. Uh, one who stands tall both literally and figuratively, Dr. Wright Lasseter, Jr. In fact, Dr. Lasseter's resume casts a long shadow. Wright, Wright has been a friend, mentor, advisor, and confidant of virtually every chancellor uh, since the inception of this district. A servant leader to district employees, an educational visionary uh, to students and his colleagues here and across the nation. Wright works tirelessly reading, writing, thinking, and sharing what he has learned along the way. He's the author of 11 books, several collections of his speeches and presentations, is an ordained minister and executive pastor of the Concord Baptist Church in Dallas. Wright served uh, in the Army during the reconstruction of South Korea and is a retired lieutenant colonel, which must have come in a previous life. Uh, Wright is married to Bessie, as you know. They have two adult children and two grandchildren. I believe the adult children are here. Uh, it's so great to have you with us. Several uh, facilities and groups uh, carry the name, Wright's name, uh, in the educational community. And while um, a number of them have been mentioned so far, the list goes on and is equally uh, distinguished and is available on the district website. <laughs> I've had the distinct privilege of serving as board chair uh, during Dr. Laster's entire term as chancellor. It has allowed me to grow as a person and be close at hand uh, along with my fellow board members as Dr. Laster with the board's vision for community needs, despite funding challenges, demographic change, and the ever moving goal of what young people need to know has advanced the cause of education simply by teaching students how to learn. While, Bob, while Wright is not a Boy Scout, he is among his other outstanding personal traits, most certainly trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, and reverent. Sorry Bob Ferguson wasn't here uh, to, uh, to listen to that. Uh, I'd now ask if um, we could have the, president of the se presidents of the seven colleges uh, and any present or former trustees uh, to come and uh, stand below the um, podium uh, as we are going to make a presentation. So please come forward. Thank you. Right, my friend, if there was ever a person deserving of an associate's degree, it is certainly you. <laughs> you have dedicated almost 30 years uh, to community college leadership and nearly that many in preparing for that journey. 
So I want to say, uh, Dr. Laster, by the powers vested in this distinguished group to grant honorary degrees, among other worthy and noble powers, to wit, award of honorary associate of arts degree to Dr. Wright Lassiter, Jr., Chancellor, Dallas County Community College District. Now, um, if uh, Representative Alonzo is left, I want to say that uh, Wright Lasseter, after this um, swearing in, will uh, be the only graduate of all seven DCCCD colleges. <laughs> Now, I've been instructed to move, and I'm certainly going to do that. However, I do want to say you are missing three be it knowns and a therefore be it resolved and in witness thereof. So uh, I have the details for anyone that uh, is uh, interested. We're going to ask these folks to stand here just for a moment and we're going to invite other members of the Chancellor's staff to come forward for um, the award from that group. Other members of the Chancellor's staff. We'd also like to invite another one of our um, best on the planet students, uh, whose name is Ted Houston. Mr. Houston, will you join us as well? Mr. Houston is actually a Brookhaven College student. And on behalf of the Chancellor's staff um, and our student artist, Ted Houston, with us tonight, uh, we'd like to uh, share with Dr. Lassiter a piece of art uh, for his new office entitled Sun Series 2013 and Justin's unveiling it behind him.
Thank you so much. And finally, after all of those awards, we're actually going to let Chancellor Lassiter speak for himself. Last night I had watched the uh, Grammy Awards and one of the recipients said, uh, you're about to make me cry with all these awards. And uh, I somewhat feel the same way. I learned a long time ago that perhaps the um, greatest sin that you can commit is the failure to show gratitude. So tonight I want to express my sincere thanks to a number of people that I've had the privilege to work with in this journey in the Dallas County Community College District. First, I want to thank the Board of Trustees, Board Chairman and Trustees Jamison and Compton who are here for the faith that you had when you chose to pluck me out of the ranks and asked me to assume the role of first interim chancellor and then to frighten me 23 days later when you came out of executive session and Chairman Prater says, when we named Dr. Lasseter as the interim chancellor, we made a mistake. And I wondered what kind of faux pas could I have committed in just 23 days to warrant such a statement. But he quickly added the mistake was we should have named him chancellor instead of interim chancellor. So I had the shortest tenure as an interim chancellor of anybody that I know of, just 23 days. So I want to thank the board for one, your faith and your confidence uh, in me to ask me to take on this task. I certainly want to express my thanks to the chancellor's staff, the members of the professional support staff, the members of the faculty council and the faculty association, and the members of the administrators council for your support as we have worked together to enable the Dallas County Community College District to truly be one of the most outstanding districts, not only in the state of Texas, but in the nation. For it is a mistake to think that any one person can do all of these things. What has been accomplished during my tenure of 20 years at El Centro and almost eight years as chancellor is a result of marvelous teamwork. And those who know me well know that has been one of my visionary watchwords, teamwork. For without a strong team, we really can't do anything. So I would ask all of you who are here to just give a round of applause to all of my team members who are here tonight for what they have done to cause us to be at this point of just picking out one person to recognize, but you're truly recognizing what has been accomplished in the entire district. So applaud those who are on my team. <clears throat> I certainly want to express my thanks to all of those who came to the podium and made presentations and made remarks. I have a number of very special friends who are here tonight, and I thank you for coming and for giving me an opportunity to shake your hands, uh, to hug you, and to say thanks for walking with me as we have worked very hard to cause this district to be where it is on today. And just as you need a strong team composed of trustees, college presidents, vice chancellors, staff and faculty. You also need what I was told very early in my career when I was first approached about considering being a college president. My mentor said to me, you need to know that if you choose to be a college president, it's not a job, but it is a calling. And if you're not, if you're not prepared to accept that task as a calling, a calling that will shape your entire life, 
you should not endeavor to do it, for it will not be pleasing and you will not be successful. Then he added, if you choose to go down this road and get on that journey of being a college president, a successful one, your family should support you in that endeavor. For if they are not willing to be a partner with you, it will not be a successful endeavor. So I want to express my thanks to my family. I want to ask them to please stand one more time for they have walked with me and worked with me. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. And those who know me well know that I can be loquacious, I can talk for a long time, but I can also cut it short. So I'm going to cut this short tonight because there are many back there who are standing and I don't want you to stand too long. But I would say to this entire assembly, what my associates know me as saying all of the time. I give them little bits of word, wisdom and I close with food for thought. But I also say to them, the largest room in any house is the room for improvement. And so it is with where we are in the district. As the time draws near for my concluding my tenure, both as a president and a chancellor, while we have done excellent work, there is still room for improvement. And I would hope that I can be of some small service to the board and to my successor in enabling the Dallas County Community College District to rise to an even higher level of excellence and dominance in the community college field. So thank you all for coming. Thank you for your kind words. And thank you for supporting the Dallas County Community College District. I really, really honor and value all of you. Thank you so much. Can I come down? Uh, well, one final word. Okay, thank you. Since I was, since I was described as being humorous, uh, let me add this little postscript. This is the only time in my entire tenure as chancellor that something was done and I did not know what was going on. Thank you so much. That concludes our program, but we hope you'll stay and enjoy the rest of the food and the visiting. Thank you again.